Hello guys welcome to my channel so in last video we saw how normal flora or normal microbiota is originated guys now i will directly teach you from the book so this is from pelzar okay let's start normal flora and the human host that is guys what is effect of establishment of normal flora on our body or or what is the effect of uh, this originated normal flora on our body so to find this out or to know this effect guys three approaches have been used so the first one is use of germ free animals that is animals that don't have normal flora in them those are known as germ free animals if we compare this germ free animals with normal animals we will come to know effect of normal flora on our body then the second approach is use of antimicrobial agents that is the balance which we have between our normal flora and host if we change it then we will come to know the effect of normal flora on our body and the last is knowledge of certain characteristics of normal flora organisms that is normal flora don't allow or you can say discourage growth of other organisms which aren't indeed in normal flora so uh, from this approach you can find out effect of normal flora on the host body now let's move ahead that is germ free and gnotobiotic life so guys pasher a scientist pasher a scientist didn't believe that animals or vertebrates can live without microorganisms he states that animals could not live in absence of microorganisms so following his suggestion in 1897 an abortive attempt was made to rear germ free chickens that is in 1897 an attempt was made to rear chickens that don't have normal flora which are germ free chickens so between 1899 and 1908 guys scotelius he was a german so guys he was successful in raising germ free chickens but guys those chickens only lived for about a month so he concluded that intestinal bacteria is important for nutrition of vertebrates but guys then in 1912 cohen d raised 17 germ free chickens and those chickens were alive for 40 days and he concluded that it is possible for vertebrates to live germ free that is without normal flora also uh vertebrates can live long healthy life and reproduce as well okay so basically it was done to find out whether it is possible for vertebrates or organisms to live without microorganisms or to live without normal flora now let's move ahead rearing germ free animals guys rearing means taking care and bringing up until they are fully grown okay so now let's see how the rearing of germ free organisms was done so guys in 1928 james a renaeus started his work on germ free chickens he with his organ organization or association started to develop techniques and equipments for rearing germ free organisms in this organisms it included uh, chickens rats mice and other animals so for several generations by rearing germ free animals they emphasize that anatomical and physiological description of these animals uh, they emphasize anatomical and physiological description of these animals and made comparison between this uh, germ free organism and normal organism but guys biologists aren't in, uh, interested in this germ free organisms rather this germ free organisms are used as a practical model for solving problems in biology and medical medicine 
now let's move to notobiotic technique so these are techniques in which germ free or you can say uh, organisms who contain only one or more than one microorganisms which are known to us so to rare those is known as notobiotic technique why only one or more uh, more than one microorganisms which are known why only that is rare so it is because to study the effect of those microorganisms on that organism okay now let's move to see how they read germ free organisms renaeus first read chicken chicken germ free chicken he read first germ free chicken so how he did it was he sterilized the shells of 20 day old embryonated egg he sterilized the embryonated egg shell with germicide and placed it in sterile condition such as glass jar jars or steel tank line cages as we need germ free so air should also be germ free so for that he uh, fertilized a uh, filterized air was passed through cages and even before this chicken egg hatched they were provided with proper sterilized food and water and to know whether the organism present in that cage uh, is germ free bacteriological examination of exhaust air feather excreta and orifices of that organism was done and guys even we can rare germ free pigs rats mice okay and other mammals so it is obtained by pregnant mothers so what you have to do is uh, you have to op- uh, do operation that is scissoring operation in of that pregnant mother in sterile conditions so from this the new one will be directly introduced in sterile condition and i told you that fetuses in womb are germ free they acquire normal flora from their surrounding so while giving birth to them to the new one in sterile conditions they won't acquire any microorganism okay and they aren't given uh, and guys they aren't given mother's milk okay but they are fed a composition uh, that have components of mother's milk and this babies and this new ones are hand fed for almost 2 or 3 weeks with dropper okay so you can uh, maintain colony of germ free micro uh, organisms again by repro- again reproducing them in germ free conditions okay now let's move ahead that is germ free animals versus normal animals so guys when comparison of germ free animal was done with normal animal it was observed that immune system of germ free animal was underdeveloped it was not fully developed that is they will quickly be infected uh, then the normal flora uh, floral organisms okay this uh, germ free organisms can quickly get infected then the normal floral organisms and even this germ free organisms required more vitamin k and b than normal organisms so this finding indicated that normal flora may make significant contribution to the vitamin requirement of host okay now let's move to other uses of germ free microorganisms so i told you notobiotic technique means organisms is either germ free or having one or more microorganisms which are known to us and it helps us to know the effect of those bacteria on host that is you can inoculate a germ free animal with a known species of microorganisms or a mixture of known species to determine the ability to produce disease or to cause pathological or immuno- immunological changes in the animals see over here example is given notobiotic technique have helped to elucidate the role of bacteria in causation of dental caries 
Now let's move to effect of antimicrobial agents. So guys, antimicrobial agent means killing microbes microbes or guys when we use antimicrobial agents or antibiotics to suppress normal flora it can lead to colonization of other potential pathogens for example a uh, treatment of skin a uh, treatment of human skin with antibacterial agents such as hexachlorophen so this antibacterial agent will result in suppression of gram positive flora and uh, due to gram positive flora is suppressed there is colonization of gram negative bacilli and other which cannot colonize themselves due to presence of gram positive flora okay one more example is given which is c hospital patients who are under antibiotics those antibiotics can lead to suppression of normal flora in the large bowel and due to that suppression that suppression can lead to pseudomembranous colitis this disease is caused by excessive growth of toxin uh, producing strains of clostridium difficile so in humans if we do not receive antibiotic therapy such toxic strains are in control due to uh due to a normal flora and do not grow to high numbers that is this normal flora can prevent establishment of pathogens by various means such as uh this normal flora will successfully take all nutrients and other organism will not have nutrients or formation of inhibitor metabolic products and antibiotics